media and the internet and religion. Um, so just a little bit of background. If you were to look at the internet and religion 50 years ago, it would be drastically different because the internet was started 51 years ago, or the idea was started 51 years ago um, by Intel, which if you guys are uh, sophomores, you have this little blue sticker on your Chromebook, probably. Um, and so pretty much the internet has revolutionized everything. We use it in every aspect of our lives. We created these presentations with the internet, so it's really influencing us um, in every way, even if we don't realize it. Um, so how I decide my research question, and my research question is, how does social media and the internet impact religion? And I came up with this research question after reading and examining the Edward Kessler article, who was source A, and he talked a lot about how social media and religion were working together and they were kind of coercing with each other with interfaith dialogue and they were talking, like talking to each other. Uh, and then throughout the whole stimulus packet, there was a clear uh, theme of change. And so one example, one, another example of this was in the poem Looking for the Gulf of Mattel, where he talked about how the Gulf of Mattel was not the same as he once knew it when he was a kid, so a lot had changed in just a little bit of time. So overall, social media and the internet are positively affecting uh, religions, and they're making better changes to them instead of making negative changes to them. Um, so I'm going to first lens, uh, social and cultural. A uh, perspective within this lens would be social groups. Uh, social groups play a big role in religion because they are kind of the first step into a religion for some people. Uh, they're the first interaction that um, new, that people that are new to a faith get because they are online on Facebook. There's lots of social groups, so they kind of are the outline, and they are able to incorporate social media into religion however they want, and they're able to uh, they're able to outreach to people and make it the best to what everybody wants. Um, and then CEOs of big internet companies are big factors in um, religion. It might not seem like it, but they are because 30,000 searches a month are for um, different religious ideas and they're looking for different things. So these um, CEOs of companies are allowing religious things to be put on their websites. They're um, allowing all of this religion to be out there and they're playing a big role because the people are able to incorporate it however they want into their faith. Um, so a solution to the negative interactions is that everybody on social media talks positive about the faiths and everything, but unfortunately that's impossible because there's always going to be negative Nancys in the world, there's always going to be people that oppose your view, and you can't have people all think and do the same thing. Uh, the same way, because that's just not how the world works, that's just how humans were made. Uh, but there is a way that if we talked more positive and you didn't bash other religions, and you didn't talk negative about other faiths of what people believe, then it will uh, increase the ways of uh, religions being... Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, the way that religions are. So in conclusion, uh, religions have been positively affected by social media because people are able to talk to each other, um, whether it's social groups on Facebook or different types of communication online or reading a Bible. There's online Bibles out there that people can read instead of having to go to a church or whatever ethnic group they believe in. They don't have to go face to face. They can just read it or analyze it on the internet. Um, but whenever you're using social media and talking about religions, uh, you always want to be using a positive mindset mindset, and have good intentions because you never know what you're going to influence or uh, who you're going to make a change to. So, I'm going to make citations and then we'll work Okay, a couple of questions for you. <clears throat> How valid and reliable are the sources you've used? How do you know and which sources didn't work? 
Um, I say that my sources are pretty reliable because I got a lot of them, or not a lot of them, I got a few of them from EDU, which is educational sources for colleges. I got one from Chicago uh, Christian Institute, which is, they are a big religion uh, college, so they have lots of knowledge about it, so they were, uh, it was a good article. But then also I found a few sources that were blogs, so they were more opinionated, and that's how I knew that they weren't the best. And so I kind of mainly used the .edu, but I just kind of took a few small ideas from the blogs. Okay, and then your second question would be, uh, if you had more time, what additional research would you conduct related to the issue? Um, I'd definitely say that I'd find more uh, opposing sources, because I only found one really strong source that said that social media and the internet was negatively affecting religion, and the rest of the nine were more leaning towards positively affecting it. So if I had a little bit more time, I'd definitely say that I'd try to go more on the negative side, to find more limitations and implications to counter what 